What's up everybody? I hope you're craving a really good yoga session because this one is going to be faster paced, very dynamic, fast moving, so you can stretch out all parts of your body super fast. And if you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Antranik and I make health and fitness and yoga videos all the time. So please subscribe now if you haven't already and let's get right into it. We're going to start in a standing position at the top of our mat. Stand on both feet evenly in mountain pose. Mountain pose is just a standing posture. Both knees straight, uh, hips a little tucked in, shoulders down and back. And now inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky and exhale, hands down to your heart. Okay, on the next one, we're gonna forward fold. Inhale as you sweep the arms up to the sky, looking up, exhale, forward fold. Hands touch the mat, inhale, half forward fold. Slide the hands up above your knees and flatten your back. Stick your bum out and then exhale, forward fold. Excellent. Now, step the left foot back into a lunge and bring the back knee down into a low lunge. Inhale as you raise the arms up to the sky. Good. And then exhale, hands down to your chest. Now we're going to do eagle arms. Put the right arm over the left, bend the elbows up and grab uh, your thumb or face the palms together and grab here and just hang out in eagle arms. You can accentuate your lunge by bringing the right knee forward and squeezing your left glute. Take a deep breath here and let it go. All right, great. Release that, sweep the arms up, exhale, hands down in front of you, lift the back knee up, go back into downward facing dog, good, look forward, bend your knees and hop or walk forward until your feet are up by your hands, good, and then inhale, hands above your knees, half forward fold exhale forward fold step the right foot back into a lunge lower that knee down into a low lunge inhale as you raise your arms up and exhale hands down to your heart good this time let's do eagle arms with the opposite way so this time left arm over the right bend the elbows grab opposite palms together or grab you know whatever you can and then accentuate your lunge by bringing the left knee forward squeeze your right glute good and you can even pull your arms toward the left in this position to accentuate external rotation good and then release that raise your arms up and set them down Step back into downward facing dog. And this time raise your right leg up so you're in a three legged or one legged downward facing dog. Drop your left heel down to the floor and now I want you to pulse your right leg up 10 times. Basically trying to go up a little bit higher each time. We're about halfway to through. Remember the breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, left foot up this time, and again, drop the right heel down, and pulse that left foot up higher each time. 10 times, remember to breathe. Good, set that foot down. Plank position, shoulders over wrists, hang out here for a moment. Good. Go back into downward facing dog. Raise the right leg up, bring the right knee to your nose, step it through between your hands and raise your arms up into a high lunge crescent pose. Good, imagine you're holding a big beach ball. Now, right arm back, left arm forward for a revolving crescent twist. 
and then put your right hand on the back of your left thigh and raise your left arm up good now bring the left hand down right arm up and look up at your right hand good now bring your right hand down and then back up five times right hand down all the way until it touches your left hand and then sweep it up down and up you can link with the breath with the movement so exhale as you bring it down inhale as you bring it up one more time here exhale inhale good bring the hands down let's go into plank position step that foot back good downward facing dog this time raise the left foot up bring the left knee toward your nose and then step it through between your hands and raise the arms up into your high lunge you could bend the back knee slightly if this is too intense and then revolve that lunge by bringing the right arm forward left arm back and then put the left hand on the back of your right thigh raise the right arm up breathe good Put the right hand down, raise the left arm up, and let's just bring that right hand down to meet our, uh, sorry, our left hand down to meet the right hand, and then bring the left arm back up. Remember to link the breath with the movement. Exhale as you bring it down, inhale as you bring it up. When you bring it up, I want you to when you bring it up, I want you to bring it up and open your chest as much as possible. Couple more here. Good. Now, let's uh, step that foot back into a plank position. Send the shoulders forward ahead of your wrists in this plank position. Keep the elbows close to your body as you lower down slowly, slowly, slowly. And then upward facing dog. Inhale as you straighten the arms, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Bend your knees liberally. Look forward and hop or step forward between your hands. Good. Inhale as you do a half forward fold exhale forward fold step the left foot back into a lunge bring it down for a low lunge good now while you're in this low lunge we're gonna straighten the front knee and put our hands down right around where our kneecap is or where our shin is and now notice that if this is a hamstring stretch for you it should be if it's not you could slide your right foot forward more and um, basically try sticking your butt out and notice how sticking the butt out basically pouring your hips forward uh, accentuates the hamstring stretch so do that 10 times it doesn't look like i'm doing anything but each time i pulse my butt back it lengthens my hamstrings and does a nice stretch so just Keep pulsing 10 times. Okay, good. Now bend that front knee forward and let's just switch sides from here. Now this time you should be in a lunge with your left foot forward and right foot back and then straighten that left knee. And again, if this isn't a strong stretch for you, slide that left foot a little more forward. And now you can stick your bum out. So stick it back 10 times. Each time you pulse it, your hips back, you're trying to stretch your hamstrings a little more. You're prying it open. 
Notice the relationship of your hips to your hamstrings. They connect right there at your seat bones. So naturally moving your seat bones backwards lengthens them and stretches them. Okay, remember that in any hamstring stretch, trying to stick the bum out is going to stretch it tremendously. Good, now I want you to switch sides again, put that back, uh, front foot back, and then put the right uh, foot forward, and this time straighten that right leg again, and you're going to lift the foot in this hamstring stretch five times. So just raise it up even if it's a centimeter or however much you can. Okay, five times here. One, two, three, four, five. Switch sides. Again, hamstring stretch right here with a straight leg and pulse it up five times. One, two, three, four, five. Switch sides. Again, five more here. One, two, three, four, five. Switch sides. This is a good way to build hip flexor strength. And put the knee back. Good. Get on hands and knees into your tabletop position. And just do cat cow. Inhale, arch your back, look up, stick your butt out. Exhale, round your back, tuck your tailbone, look at your belly button. Inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round your back. And if you want to add any circular motions and something different to your cat-cow, please do so. You can really explore this motion, any motion, any movement that you like, that you feel your body is saying to do it. Always respect your body. Don't be a robot just following me. And now, let's get into a neutral position with our back and tuck your toes. Lift your knees just an inch and now do cat-cow again. Exhale, round your back. Look at your belly button. Tuck your tailbone. Squeeze your glutes. Exhale. I mean, inhale as you arch your back now with your knees slightly lifted. Exhale, round it out. Inhale as you arch your back one more time. Sticking your butt out, looking up. Exhale, round your back. Inhale as you arch your back. Let's all meet in this arched position with you looking up and your butt sticking up and go into downward facing dog. Good. Now, while we're in this downward dog, feel how much more free your downward dog feels compared to the first time you did it and send your shoulders forward into plank position lower down and go into upward facing dog with a big inhale exhale downward facing dog good now go back into plank position and back into downward facing dog Two more times, plank position, downward facing dog, plank position, downward facing dog, good, plank position, and now I want you to do three push-ups, and if you can't do any push-ups, just stay in plank, good. Now, bring the knees down and let's lay on our backs. Good. Now, both knees are, lit, are up, feet are down, just about until you can almost touch them. And you're going to raise the left foot straight up and you're going to put your right hand behind your head and you're basically going to Put this, it's a dynamic hamstring stretch. So your, so your right knee is slightly up and your left foot is completely up. And you're gonna bring the left foot down 
and up toward your right elbow. Okay, so just like this, 10 times. Try to touch your knees and elbow, your left knee with your right elbow. Exhale every time they touch and inhale on the way back. And if this has no stretch to you, you can straighten the right leg straight down on the floor. Good, switch sides. This time the right foot is straight up and your left hand is on the back of your head and you're gonna just touch the right knee to your left elbow. Again, if this isn't a stretch for you, you could try bringing the left foot completely down. Just a couple more here. Good. All right. Now let's lay on our stomach. Just turn over, okay? And put your right hand straight out into a T position and your left hand is flat on the floor with your elbow up in the air. And you're gonna put your left foot back behind you for a nice shoulder and chest stretch. Okay, breathe. The more you push with your left hand down, the stronger that stretch might be on your right shoulder. Good, switch sides. This time put your right hand flat on the floor with your left arm straight out and then put your right foot back until that right foot's on the floor and again you can push with this right hand to accentuate the stretch breathing good let's come back to center and meet me in downward facing dog. Downward facing dog has arrived once more. Good. This time raise your right leg up into one leg downward dog. Bring the right knee toward your nose, shoulders over wrists and step the foot gently between your hands. Raise the arms up into your high lunge, to your beautiful crescent lunge. And this time we're gonna do a twisted half moon pose. Let me go back a little so I'm in the camera. So a twisted half moon is such where you're going to bring your left hand down and raise your right arm up and try to keep that left foot twisted in the air. Good, take a breath here. And let it go. Good. This time we're going to transition to half moon pose. Bring the right hand down and the left arm up. And make your left toes point to the left. Take a deep breath here. And let it go. Bring the left hand down. Square the hips. Meaning this time the, the toes in the air are now facing down. Now you're in a standing splits position. Take a deep breath here and let it go. Good. Step the left foot back down into a high lunge and raise the arms up. Bend that front knee. Take a deep breath here. Inhale and exhale. Hands down to the mat. Step back into plank. Lower down slowly. And inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very good. Other side. Raise the left leg up as high as it'll go. Then bring your left knee to your nose. Shoulders over wrists. 
gently step that foot between your hands and raise your arms up into your lunge position deep breath here good we're gonna go into twisted half moon pose on the other side so right hand down left foot up i mean left arm up with your toes with your right foot up in the air deep breath good this time left hand down right arm up with the toes the right toes facing to the right and if you're very comfortable here you can even look up at your right fingertips good now exhale as you bring that right hand down and square off the hips meaning look at your toes that are in there make them face down you can even lift from the inner thigh to accentuate the stretch take a deep breath here and let it go and set the back foot down into your crescent lunge raise your arms up exhale hands down to the mat as you step back into plank lower down very slowly send the shoulders forward elbows stay tucked inwards inhale as you arch your back upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog good now while you're in this position we're gonna go into crescent lunge raise the right leg up right knee to your nose step it through raise the arms up back heel down and arms out to the side for warrior two good while you're in this warrior two position bend the right knee liberally and reverse your warrior meaning left hand slides down the back of your left leg as you look up and reach your right arm backwards remember to bend the front knee liberally deep breath here good extended side angle pose right forearm on your right thigh reach the left arm overhead and if this is very easy for you you could put the right hand down on the floor excellent good now bring the left hand down step this right foot into a side plank position okay and raise the arms up and we're going to do five side plank raises meaning you're just going to lower your hips and raise them up lower the hips and raise them up three more lower raise as high as it'll go two more raise it as high as it'll go last one here and as high as it'll go good now i want you to lower drop this uh, left knee down and make the lower leg such that it's perpendicular with your mat good look up at your hand with your arm up in the air i want you to make huge circles okay so bring the hand down look at your hand the whole time as you're sweeping it up and down sweep it up and down look at your hand follow your hand the whole time with your head raise it up good let's put the hand down go into downward facing dog left leg up this time bring the left knee to your nose shoulders over wrist gently step it through raise the arms up for crescent lunge back heel goes down into warrior two arms out to the side look over your left fingertips bend that left knee reverse the warrior right hand down to the back of your leg as your left arm reaches backwards and you're looking at it bend the front knee liberally deep breath here good exhale and bring the left forearm down onto your left thigh as you reach your right arm overhead and kind of twist maybe you can even look up out to the sky 
And if this is easy for you, you can put the left hand down on the mat. Good. Bring the right hand down. Step the foot back into side plank position. Good. Do five side plank raises once more. This time on this side. Each time you bring your hips down, raise those hips up even higher. Drop that right knee down. Make your lower leg perpendicular to the mat. And this time you're gonna look up at your hand and do a big circle again, raising it up and down as your head follows and traces the big counterclockwise motion of your hand, of your arm. Good. Let's set up in a straddle. Straddle with our legs spread apart and just forward fold, grab opposite elbows in a straddle position. Just a couple breaths here. Try to stick your bum out and see how that hip tilt helps you go deeper. Good. Frog stretch. Put the hands down and make your shins parallel to each other. And you could go on your forearms and try to drive the hips backward and then put them forward. Backwards and forward. Backwards and forward. Last one here, backwards. Now, straighten the left leg, keep the right leg the same way, and go all the way back as far as it will go, and all the way forward. All the way back. Maybe you can even sit. If you can't sit, that's fine. And all the way forward. One more time. Back and forward. Now, go back into your frog stretch. Put that left knee back in. Good. This time, stretch. The, straighten the right leg and just do this hybrid half frog, half straddle position forward and back. Go as far back as you can. If you can sit, that's great. If you can't, it doesn't matter. It's still great. Good. Come back to center. We're going to now transition to Cossack squats. I want you to go into your straddle for straddle position and bend the right knee and raise those left toes up. You can use your hands on the floor if this is a very difficult transition for you because you're going to now transition all the way to the other side. Okay? You could keep your hands at your heart if this is easy for you. Just do each side just three or four times. It's a nice, fast-moving yoga flow. Try to keep the chest up. Good. Now let's bring the hands down. Let's go on our back. We're going to do reverse crunches. Reverse crunches are very simple but they could be difficult. Hands down by your butt, straight arms, and you're just gonna raise your hips up and down. If this is a very easy exercise for you, you can try raising your hips and legs straight up. So find what works for you, try to raise it up. If you need momentum to raise your hips up, use momentum that's okay but if you can do it easily you can try raising them up and the legs up and if you are doing that you can raise the legs up and squeeze your glutes try not to look left or right while doing this position okay just five more
remember to breathe. Good. Last one. Excellent. Now, I want you to roll onto your back. I mean, onto your front. Just switch sides completely. Good. And we're going to... We're gonna lay in Superman position with our arms in a cactus position, like so. And just ray arch up like a cobra pose and then bring it down, set your forehead down and arch up. Set your forehead down and arch up. Set your forehead down, arch up. Good, while you're in this position, Bend the knees, feet up, and grab each ankle. If you can't grab it, just leave the feet up and stay in this position. And you're gonna kick the feet into the hands for a nice downward facing bow. Deep breath, and exhale, let it go. Very nice. Let's get on our hands and knees. We're actually going to set up for a camel pose position. So just get up on your knees and stay upright. Raise both arms up to the sky. If camel pose is difficult for you, you could tuck your toes. Bring your left hand down on your left heel. And then bring your right hand down on your right heel. Good. And if this is easy for you, untuck your toes. Now we're going to bring the left hand up and bring the left hand up to the right side as you sweep it down on the floor and you're going toward the left and your right hand is following your left and then you end up with your left hand again on your left heel. Look up at your hand as you bring your right hand down and now other way, bring the right hand up, bring it over to the left side as you sweep it over to the right and your left hand follows your right hand. Your right hand ends up on your right heel. Left hand goes back on your left heel. Squeeze your glutes, push the hips forward for the final back bend and then raise your left arm up and your right arm up. And bring the hands down. Cross your feet and sit. And go on your back, feet up, knees up, arms in a T position, and you're just gonna bring the knees to the right, put your right hand on your left thigh, look to your left, and for a nice bonus, grab your right ankle with your left hand and try to bring your left shoulder blade on the floor so you're in this twisted bind supine twist with a bind deep breath here and let it go take deep breath inflate that rib cage and each time you exhale exhale you can twist deeper Good, switch sides, bring the knees up, arms out to the T position, twist over to the left, left hand over the right thigh, looking over your right, deep breath here, good. And now, if you would like, you can grab the right, sorry, your left ankle with your right hand, and try to bring the right shoulder blade down to the floor and take deep breaths. Expanding that rib cage. And each time you exhale, you can twist more. Making space with each inhale. Good. You can let it go. 
Hug your knees into your chest. Yeah, take a deep inhale. And let it go. Drop your hands down and your legs down into your Shavasana, corpse pose. This is where you enjoy yourself for a few moments of silence where you forget about the past, don't think about the future, and just cherish the fruits of your labor of just feeling slightly euphoric and comfortable in your skin in this frenzied world where we get to take half an hour to just do a moving meditation and now that movement stops and we can actually meditate thanks to the great feelings that a little bit of exercise provides for us please stay in this position for as long as you like and with that i will be ending this video thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments how you like that video. And if you'd like to support me, please check out the links in the description of every YouTube video that I have. I have premium flexibility programs and strength training programs. And most people, if not almost all people, <laughs> love them. And I thank all of you for support, for your support. Thanks for watching. And I hope you repeat this yoga class one more time, two more times, as often as you like. Okay, thanks for watching and have a great day.